Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about five GPTs on GPT Store that you should know in 2025 if you work in marketing. So those who are not familiar, GPTs are basically like apps that are built on top of ChatGPT and you can access within ChatGPT. There are two kinds of GPTs, like one that sort of connects with other apps, for example, Zapier, Miro, Whimsical, and stuff like that. They can help you do things within ChatGPT or the other where you sort of train ChatGPT on some proprietary data. Maybe, you know, like I'm building a ChatGPT on like my own video hooks or like, you know, my video script. So I'm gonna add my instructions to ChatGPT. I'm gonna add my sources, you know, like the knowledge that I have. And I'm gonna build that GPT that's gonna be like kind of trained on like the big ChatGPT LLM, but it's fine tuned on the information I'm providing. Let me know in the comments if you need more videos on like, you know, how to build a custom GPT or like what those GPTs are. But assuming that you are now familiar with what those custom GPTs are, let's dive into the video about those five GPTs that you should know. Okay, the first one is called Whimsical. So if you go to explore GPTs and you just search for Whimsical, you're gonna see this GPT called Whimsical Diagrams. So if you click on it, we see like it has been used over a million times and the rating is 4.1. Since anyone can build and publish these GPTs, there's a whole bunch of them and a lot of them are actually not that good. I think anything that is over like, you know, four star rating, I would consider that as like a good GPT. So it's worth giving it a shot. Anything sort of below, again, really depends on how niche or how many ratings they are. I would, you know, I would consider it accordingly. Anything under 3.5, probably not a go for me. Anyway, so this GPT is cool because uh, we can turn like any sort of idea or any sort of notes into a flow chart, into a mind map automatically. Here's an example. So let's say I use whimsical diagrams and I say like, can you create a flow chart on basic things uh, to know if you're building your first automation using Zapier? So all I gotta do is like just tell this GPT like what I what sort of like flowchart I need and it's gonna do it for me. So here I have that flowchart that you know like based on the topic which I asked AI for and if I click on it I can edit this and whimsical. So you see like how this GPT is sort of connecting to the external application but sort of bring that data within chat GPT which you can just do like if you're not using the GPT. You see like how like this is kind of cool thing to do within chat GPT where we can use these like GPTs to do some cool stuff within the ChatGPT platform. Another way I like using it is that, you know, let's say if I have a PDF or like have some notes and I want to turn that into like a mind map, all I'm gonna do is like copy that content, I'm gonna put it in here, and I'm gonna ask this GPT to like turn that into like a mind map. And here, uh, I just turn like one of my blog posts into like a mind map, here I have it. And here it kind of like does like, you know, it's got multiple branches, it's got a whole thing, it's got whole colors. And of course I can click on it, I can edit this with an whimsical tool. So super useful for anyone who's like more visual, you know, like like looking at this mind maps and flowcharts and stuff like that, super useful for them. All right, let's move on to the next one. So this one is called Zapier Consultant. Again, you can explore, you can go to the GPT store, you can search, you can search for Zapier. You're gonna see this GPT called Automation Consultant by Zapier. So this one has a rating of 4.3 with over 700 reviews and like the conversations are over 50,000. So that's pretty decent. Not as much as 1 million, but you know, let's get in there. Um, so the way I like using this one is to like, sometimes I just want to brainstorm ideas for the automations I can do. Maybe I use Notion a lot. I'm just noticing I'm spending too much time using Notion and I want to automate some stuff within Notion. So maybe I'll just say like, you know, hey, this is what I do. You know, this is what my role is. I, this is a, these are the tools I use. What are some things I could automate within my tasks? So now it's giving me some ideas and I can ask it to share some step-by-step -step tutorials on how I can build that automation, or I can just ask it to like, hey, can you like, you know, help me create this automation? And it's gonna create that template automation for me within Zapier. So I click on it, I go to Zapier, and now here I have the blueprint of the automation I can start building on top of. So super useful if you're having one of those days where you just wanna like automate a lot of your work, maybe spend an hour with this automation consultant by Zapier and see what sort of things you can unlock that you can automate. And hopefully the template that's gonna build for you can help you automate those tasks as well. All right, let's move on to the next one. So this one is gonna be around AI image generations. AI image tools are getting a lot better, but writing those prompts is still hard. You know, it's hard to sort of figure out how do you even structure those prompts. You know, if you're not a photographer, adding those details to the prompts is still really difficult. But but we have a whole bunch of GPTs that can actually write those image prompts for us. I mean, of course you can just do this with ChatGPT, but I mean, if it's all free, then might as well use a GPT that's built for that specialized task. So the one I like using is called Midjourney V6.1 Photorealistic Image Prompts. So, you know, just search for those keywords within GPT Store and just type like what sort of image you're trying to generate with AI. You know, this could be stock images you wanna use for the website, you know, stuff for the marketing materials, or just any other fun project you're working on. Uh, so as soon as you type what you're looking for, it's gonna generate the prompt for you. And now you can try using this prompt in any image generation tool that you like using. For example, I just like going to fall.ai because it has like a bunch of different AI image models. 
I'm just gonna try this in one of these models and see what kind of results do I get. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna copy paste my prompt here and I'm just gonna run this model. It's gonna take a few seconds and here I have my cool image uh, based on a prompt. I mean, the hand's kind of weird, but I think it's just might just be the model issue than the prompt issue. Um, so yeah, but I mean, the image looks pretty stunning, so I'm kind of happy with that because I wouldn't have been able to imagine all these intricacies within the prompt. All right, speaking of image generation, the next GPT you should probably know is Canva. I know what you're thinking. Canva GPT is not that great. I hear you. It is not that great, but sometimes it helps with some brainstorming or getting things done quickly. And if you're not familiar, let me show you what I mean. So if you search for the Canva GPT on GPT Store, you'll see it has a rating of 3.1, which is lower than what I said my standards for. But it is number one used GPT in the productivity app and the conversation is over 5 million. So you gotta be useful in some way. Um, basically the way it works is that, you know, whatever graphic design project you wanna do, maybe you wanna do like, you know, logo or social media post, you just tell AI like, hey, this is what I'm trying to generate and it's gonna do that for you. And if you click on it, you can go onto Canva and it's gonna have that template ready for you. Or if you don't like it, you can be like, hey, you know, I don't like this, can you make it better? And it's gonna like generate more versions for you. I know these designs are not the coolest, not the most visually striking, but if you're just like quickly brainstorming concepts as you're working on maybe some a marketing campaign or something, I think it's kind of useful to like get a glimpse of what your campaign could look like, at least, you know, get some visuals for the meetings. Or if you don't have time at all, you just want to like, you know, ship something in the last 30 seconds because sometimes we work very close to the deadlines. Again, you know, it's something is better than nothing. So I wouldn't still discount it. I think it's still good to like get some quick ideation and brainstorming work done, even though the results aren't as striking as you would like. So yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's still a GPT that you could use uh, when you're working on any marketing work. The next one I like to use is for copywriting. So this one is called Killer Email Copy. I've like tried a whole bunch, but this is the one that I've found like to, to be the one that kind of works best for me at least. So when you go to GPT store, just search for killer email copy, you're gonna see like this logo and this GPT is only being used in like 5,000 conversations, but it's got a rating of 4.6 and I like it too. Um, so the idea is that, you know, let's say you are doing any copywriting work, you're writing email, marketing copy, website copy and stuff like that. Just take your copy and be like, hey, can you make it better? And see what kind of results you get. Maybe it's not perfect. Maybe it's not what you're looking for, but it might just give you some more ideas and it's gonna critique your current writing as well. So I like using it for like, you know, quick copywriting feedback and for copywriting revisions. Um, so yeah, give it a try and let me know in the comments if uh, you like it or not. I mean, this is not the only one. There's a whole bunch you can try as well. So, you know, just search the copywriting GPTs, try and see which one you like the best. And uh, I mean, if you do find something that's super useful, let us know in the comments. It's gonna help others too. Anyway, these were the five GPTs, which I think can make chat GPT experience a lot more powerful, uh, can save a lot more time, and help get the creative juices flowing. If you learned something new, the video was useful, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more AI tools and workflows, and we'll see you in the next videos.